Hey, welcome back to Bad Flashes. In today's episode, I'm gonna be lusting after the Mamiya 7, but unlike most nights, I get to touch it. In this episode of Camera Swap, we head to sunny California to meet our newest families. On this episode, we will meet the Granny Days family, fresh, bold, and excited. And we will meet the Bad Flashes gang, spicy and sporadic. These two families will soon have their lives turned sideways for just a few hours. Jason is about to hand over the keys to his darling Mamiya 7, and Caleb will give his blessing to handle someone else's Mamiya RZ. Both of these men will really learn what it's like to shoot in each other's Mamiyas. Stay tuned to see what happens on this new episode of Camera Swap. Hello, and welcome back to me justifying a hobby that, quite frankly, takes all my money. And, well, it doesn't really help pay any of the bills, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just... deal with it. A few weeks ago, Jason and I actually went out to shoot some megapixels. Who am I kidding? I don't want to throw up again. But on this extent of our journey, we decided to have a camera swap. It's kind of like the show Wife Swap, but... It's less confusing, and there's a really good possibility that I would actually just fall in love. It's good for ratings, bad for my current camera collection. I still had in my possession a Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. Try saying that five times. And so Jason would be borrowing that. This wife swap was kind of like a eye for an eye, or a Mamiya for a Mamiya. I'd actually be using his oh-so-sexy Mamiya 7. Pop it open? Yeah. This would actually not be my first go with this beauty. About a year ago, I took her out for a spin, just to interject some excitement into my life again. So naturally, I was excited to reunite for a second blissful getaway. So we hopped into my trusty Honda Civic and went to our first location, an abandoned prison, naturally. I mean, come on, we're predictable. Fun fact, Lady Gaga shot a music video there. Oh yeah, Jason wouldn't let her out of his sight again, so instead you're gonna have to just enjoy B-roll of uh, the sandwich that I made. Jason taking a photo. It gets pretty heavy after a while. <laughs> yeah, it does. Probably one of the best things about that camera is that it just fits right in the hand. Mamiya really knew what they were doing when they made this camera. The grip is a dream. If anyone has used a Pentax 6.7 or a Fuji GW690, you'll know. I need a nice solid grip in the hand. I don't want them just touching the flat surface. It's almost like these designers actually knew what they were doing. What? A grip? Are you sure customers are gonna want a grip? Even cameras in 2020 don't get the grip right. Yeah, I'm looking at you, A7S. Check and mate. Next up, we decided to go to the LA River, or like some people like to call it, a hobo's bathtub. I swapped out some Portra 400 for some Lomo 400. Rocking it, making it happen. Now, if you've been living under your film photography rock for the last, I don't know, a billion years, let me explain the Mamiya 7 for you. It's a medium format rangefinder film camera with interchangeable lenses and a meter built in. The lenses are also leaf shutter lenses, so go nuts with the strobes. That's the strobe sound. It's incredibly handy to have a built-in light meter. It's actually a spot meter that's right above the lens, so don't try calculating filters through the lens. It 
it won't work, so you're gonna have to pull out some mumbo jumbo for that. When you're looking through the viewfinder, it shows you the shutter speed, that's proper exposure, but only in one stop increments. It does take a second to get used to, and sometimes the shutter speeds at the bottom of the viewfinder are kinda hard to see, but that could just be my failing eyes. I mean, I am getting older. There you go. <laughs> That's it, I'm done, I'm done with the roll. The rangefinder patch is amazing. It's probably the biggest and brightest rangefinder patch I've ever seen. Honestly, I don't think you're ever gonna be able to go back to a different rangefinder. Thanks, Mamiya, for ruining my life. Am I being dramatic? Yeah, I am. So the cool thing is that Jason has an 80 millimeter lens on his Mamiya 7. For me, that's a perfect length. It's about a 40 millimeter lens, getting me close to that 35 millimeter equivalent. Mm, gotta love a 35. And for the last roll of the night, I decided to put in some trusty Portra 800. You know, poor man's sinister. still. It's my camera wang. <laughs> Overall, I'm pleased with the images that I got from this camera. I mean, the lens is tack sharp. It's amazing. I mean, Mamiya is known for their glass, whether it's on the RZ67 or the Mamiya 7 or any one of their other cameras. Their optics are world class. So naturally, every shot just has incredible detail. I mean, you can see people standing in the LA River taking a bath, obviously. At the end of the day, this camera is kind of perfect for the way I shoot. It's light, it feels right, and it has a perfect bod. I mean format, it's a perfect format. And it's everything I would want in a wife. I mean, camera, <laughs> camera. The only downfall in this relationship would just be the price. I mean, I couldn't sell my Honda Civic for that price. But if someone wants to make that trade, I'd be down. Did you release the uh, curtain? It oh. won't take the photo if you don't. After all, I'm pretty happy how the wife swap went. I mean, I learned a lot and I think he did too. I think I learned that I wanted it and uh, I think he learned that he was happy with what he had. So, guess we can't always win. What's the point of that? I only had a few minutes alone with it. You know, Jason was around most of the time. But in those fleeting seconds I had, we expressed true love for each other. But unfortunately, it was time for us to swap back. I'll miss her and all the fun that we had together. I don't know, I mean, maybe there will be a season three where we can reunite again. Till the next time, my love. Till the next time. So, with that, it concludes my lustful episode of the Mamiya 7. Oh man, that camera. If you ever get your hands on one, just never let it go. Never. Even if you're floating on the raft in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and freezing to death, don't do it. We know how that ends. There's enough room on that door for every camera, okay? Just saying. Well, join me next time where I might teach you how to craft the perfect cup of coffee. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Mm -hmm. uh. Mm-hmm.